Just because Anavar is considered one of your safest steroids does not mean it comes with no side effects. Many people are dosing their Anavar incorrectly. Here's what you actually need to know. Anavar, AKA Oxandrolone, is one of the most prevalent and common steroids used nowadays within not only the fitness industry, but also the medical industry. This is due to the fact that it's considered one of the safest steroids as far as anabolic to androgenic ratio. Androgenic effects are what we usually don't want to get from any type of steroid. This leads to a lot of side effects. So when you have a steroid that is more anabolic than androgenic, you're going to get a lot of those muscle building properties without getting all those unwanted side effects. The ratio is 10 to 1 anabolic to androgenic. So for you women out there, you may be able to run this without getting as many unwanted side effects. This does not mean that this cannot cause virilization or masculinization. Many of us know it for the amazing muscle building properties and the increase in muscle protein synthesis that we get from this drug in particular. This is one reason why in the medical industry it's used for muscle wasting diseases. It's not exclusive for just muscle wasting diseases and it's also used within women and children sometimes. One of the benefits that many people don't talk about is the increase in collagen synthesis. They even apply this drug to burn victims. It's amazing for actually recovering soft tissue as well. That's one thing that makes Anavar so unique in its properties. Another unique property is we know it as a quote unquote fat burning steroid. Well, it's not directly fat burning, however, one of the benefits, especially with women, is usually women run in closer to hypothyroidism ranges, which is lower thyroid functionality or a lower metabolic rate. Anavar directly reduces down TBG. TBG is thyroid binding globulin. When you reduce down thyroid binding globulin, it actually frees up more thyroid hormone, meaning it can increase your thyroid or active metabolism. Therefore, you are burning more calories in a day because your basal metabolic rate is higher. In a practical application setting within the fitness industry, it is extremely effective at retaining muscle tissue or even sometimes growing muscle tissue in a fat burning phase when you're getting ready for potentially a competition or even a photo shoot. So what are some of the dosings that you see within the fitness industry. I'm gonna start off with the dosings are usually too high. If you're getting true pharmaceutical grade Anabar directly from a compounding pharmacy, 2.5 milligrams to five milligrams is a very maintainable dose for a longer period of time without many side effects. In fact, you may see mostly only benefits out of it rather than all the unwanted androgenic side effects that you don't want. Dosings that you usually see within the fitness industry are gonna be somewhere between 10 milligrams up to even 30 milligrams of Anavar. 10 milligrams is the max threshold I see where it's really needed, where you're getting effective dosages and it's actually making a difference within the physique as well as the benefits besides just the appearance. Now, notice that I said pharmaceutical grade Anavar. A lot of Anavar in the underground world is fake. What is it commonly faked with? Dianabol. Dianabol will cause massive issues very quickly within women. One way to know whether it's real or not is roid tests is a great way to test if it's real or not. If you're going directly through your doctor, which I highly recommend doing because it will be properly dosed, you don't need to worry about this. So what are some of those unwanted side effects that you just don't want? Acne, loss of menstrual cycle, potentially even androgenic alopecia or hair loss. And if you're a woman with PCOS, it could directly impact how quickly your cysts grow in your ovaries. The reason for this is it also reduces down sex hormone binding globulin, so it frees up how much testosterone is actually in your system. Now, why could you lose your menstrual cycle if you're on steroids. All exogenous hormones will reduce down your hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis way. So your ovaries talking to your brain. When this happens and it reduces down too much, you might lose your menstrual cycle because you're not producing enough natural hormones anymore. Now in a dieting phase, you may be taxing your adrenals. 50% of your hormones are created in your adrenals as well as your ovaries. So if you downregulate both of these, you usually see a loss of menstrual cycle. That is why it's so common when you're dieting down for a show that you lose a menstrual cycle, especially if Anavar is in the mix. So what are some ways to prevent some of these side effects? One really good natural supplement that helps with acne is saw palmetto. Another one that's very cheap is actually a shampoo that you can find with Ninzerol AD or Kinoconazole. It's an anti-dandruff shampoo, but it will also prevent that hair loss. That was one of the side effects that you may potentially see. Usually hair loss within women is usually due to low thyroid functionality 
though. However, it's very possible that Anivar could contribute towards hair loss. When it comes to dosing, every woman is going to be completely different. Always start lower rather than higher. You can always increase the dosing if you want to, if you're tolerating it really well, sure. But just understand every time that you increase it, it also increases the side effects, including downregulation of the natural hormones. Another amazing natural supplement to prevent maybe loss of menstrual cycle would be something like a chase berry or vitex berry. It helps to increase progesterone. 